Summer is in full swing, and that means only one thing. Say it's too hot. Too hot. The heat's come on a little bit early this time of year, but uh, normally people get outside, they haven't climatized yet, and they overheat rather quickly. That's right, and even though the summertime means more time at the spray parks for these kids, <laughs> it also means everyone needs to take extra care during the dog days of summer. Paramedics, uh, in the summertime, you, we run on uh, people that get outside and they overdo it in the heat. The main thing is people have to know what their limitations are and stay hydrated. My recommendation is you drink plenty of fluids. If you've got heavy work to do in the afternoon, cut it off. Do it early morning or late in the evening, but don't overheat. It's easy to do in Texas weather. And listen to your body. It'll tell you when to slow down and cool off. Also, make sure to keep that AC up and running. But also there's box fan programs out there where you can get fans set up in your house. Your home isn't the only thing you should keep cool this summer. Also think about how the heat can affect your vehicle. When we're talking about the summer months getting underway, again, a lot of folks getting ready for their road trips or they're going to be out and about more uh, just doing fun summer activities around town. Really need to pay attention to the maintenance of your vehicle because the heat can really play a factor um, on how well your vehicle can perform. AAA Texas says the heat can delay your daily drive in a big way and you wouldn't want to get hot and bothered if your car is stranded on the side of the road. With the heat, AAA will come to the rescue of more than 330,000 vehicles probably over this summer. Uh, in Texas alone, nationwide, more than 7.7 .7 million. The biggest problems we see, battery issues, flat tires, as well as engine cooling issues. And of course, never ever leave a child or pet inside the car alone any length of time, one minute, 20 minutes. The results can be dangerous as well as deadly. If you wouldn't leave your kid in the car, don't leave your pet in the car. There's no reason, there's no excuse for it. Um, and it's just, you know, a few minutes and that car gets so hot. Animal Services veterinarian Kate McManus says pets are just as vulnerable to the heat as humans are. I mean, we had a dog we picked up that they thought was hit by a car because she was just laying there breathing really hard and I was like, take her temp and it was 109. When animals come in with that high of a temperature, the outcome is often fatal. But if you think your pet is getting overheated, there are some signs to look for. Well, you just want to keep an eye on your pet, make sure it's acting normal. Certainly a normal pant is okay, but if they got that full mouth pant, that big old tongue hanging out, drooling, they may just kind of splay out to really try to cool themselves, not want to walk anymore. Those are definitely signs when we should be getting concerned that the animal's overheating. The bottom line, stay hydrated, stay cool, and stay informed. And with those tips, hopefully you won't get burned this summer. Brett Wheeler for CitySource.